All right, folks, uh, I am back trying to get back on my feet again. I was down on Monday, a little bit on Tuesday, and Wednesday I was still iffy, <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> so I, I think it's a good topic to, to talk about in terms of when we are down, when we are down either emotionally or physically, it doesn't matter which one, but I think it's important to to n not stress about it and to know that we are going to have those kind of days. If we're in a wheelchair, we have other conditions probably or certain conditions that we have to take care of. And, and, and sometimes they're going to get away from us. <laughs> So it's, it's important to not feel guilty about it or just, you know, feeling angry about it. Well, all the emotions are important as well. So you can feel all those things, but it's important to, to be okay at some point and know, okay, this is what it is. And I'm just going to rest. I'm just going to do what I need to do to uh, get better. And um, sometimes I just want to rush in and, and do things, and I can't do it. <laughs> so Monday, I was totally out. And, you know, Tuesday, I was eh. Wednesday, I was doing a little bit better, but still, I didn't want to push it. So in, in my case, you know, and still today, you know, struggling a little bit, but you know, I can I can do point A to point B, and and be okay. So for all of you who are out there who who might be down for whatever reason, you know, it's it's really important to to look at. Okay, so you got through the last episode. How do you how how do you want to get through the next episode? and be okay with it, and just become familiar with the symptoms, and, and just be down, take the medication you need to take, or the rest you need to take, and not get frustrated, or not to get, you know, angry with yourself, or, you know, any of those kind of things. It's, it's just not worth it. It really isn't worth it. So, you know, I just, I just want to have this chat heart to heart because sometimes we just get so, I don't know, overwhelmed, I guess, is the word, you know, when we're not feeling well and we think about all the things that we need to do. And, you know, it, it just overwhelms us and, you know, we, we, we get into a, we get into a bad space, whatever that bad space looks for you. And, and it's not worth it because that affects us physically. Our emotions affect us physically, and the physical issues can affect us very much um, emotionally. So, so it's really important to be aware, to bring that to our awareness, because otherwise... Otherwise, you know, we just make things uh, a bit worse for ourselves and maybe for someone who's trying to help you, <laughs> who doesn't know how to help you, <laughs> and it, it just becomes an entangled mess. So it, ha it, it is just really critical to say, okay, I'm down, and, you know, where's my bed? Where's my recliner? <laughs> I'll go get some water or I'll ask for some water, medication, you know, just turn on the TV, or I just really need to lie down. In my case, I need to lie down, just shut down and, and, and go to sleep <laughs> because the symptoms are awful and there really isn't anything that's going to fix it per se. So, you know, and I know that the things that I need to do that day, I can do the next day or the following day. You know, nobody's going <coughs> to, the world's not going to end, in other words. So, you know, I, I, I'm trying to knock out those so's and be aware that I keep on saying so, but <laughs> it's just <laughs> part of my bad habit.
uh, you know, what, what's what's next? How do we how do we plan? You know, I would I would be very combative when I would start feeling bad or or feeling ill, and so I would just start you know being really crabby and really just out of it and and just being a pain in the rear and then i would i would be like oh <laughs> the the pain is coming and i need to do something about it <laughs> and that be crabby with everybody so <laughs> so you know now i'm better about i'm better about my awareness and i think that's what i needed to to work on W was awareness and to know that I needed to have a plan on what I was going to do. So, so I, I, I established that plan and, and it's worked, I think, better. You know, I don't run into somebody and <laughs> <laughs> so it's like for Pete's sake, you know, nobody knows what to do. And there is no real medication that can help the situation. So, you know, it's it's about me taking action, a gentle action <laughs> to improve the situation or not improve it because it's going to take a little while to pass. But at least to at least to put myself in a situation that I'm comfortable comfortable as possible and and weather through it so that's my invitation today if you have a condition that kind of comes and goes or you know that might need hospitalization maybe it doesn't um, mine sometimes might need hospitalization but for the most part I try not to so I try to tackle it before it it's a it's a running train out of control and I think I do that better now than I did you know a couple of years ago and you know it's it's just important to to get to that space in which you are physically aware of how you're feeling what you're feeling and what you need to do about it because the only person who's going to know is you <laughs> because you are in your skin and nobody nobody can put themselves in your shoes and fix it so there i go with the so again <laughs> but uh, fewer so's so that's my invitation in this video because i missed yesterday <laughs> and i was late with monday <laughs> But you know, I know at the end of the week I'll be I'll be better, um, and I just have to keep an eye on it so it doesn't flare up again. So that's my invitation for you and for me to continue to have that deep awareness of ourselves and what's going on and and how we want to tackle whatever is going to jump on us and, and impact us and, and bring us down. So, you know, that is our, that's our homework for all of us. We might forget at some point to do that. It might get a little bit out of hand <laughs> for one of us or both of us or all of us, but I think that working on the details and and becoming becoming in touch becoming in touch i think with ourselves and knowing what it feels like that particular condition that particular situation what does it feel like and what what things are in our power to keep it under control so i think that's what i wanted to say in this video I didn't want to make a long video, uh, but I th I think this is a, a a video that you can you can listen, you can reflect about it, and say, oh yeah, this condition or this situation, when I feel this way, then I get this way, and there are things that I can do, 
and I will practice because I think it takes practice. You know, I didn't do this overnight. But, you know, I I think that I do it better when when things are getting out of my control. I know that lying down or being in my recliner and not moving <laughs> is like the best. So <laughs> but I don't know what's good for you. So you have to go through that reflection and say, yeah, I go through this and that and it it just throws me off and then other people uh can be uh affected. So let me stop saying so. <laughs> there must be some kind of illness. <laughs> Let's take time to think about that and improve our, our situation personally, privately. All right. Thank you so much for spending a few moments with me. If you'd care to like, subscribe, comment, that's all for free. And it helps the channel grow. And so I'm hoping that you will come back, <laughs> listen to my babbling, <laughs> invite others, invite others to, to contribute, uh, to be with us as a community. And um, so that I think that's that's the important thing to to be in in community and to listen to each other, to our wisdom because mine is not the only one. All right, take care, and I will see you definitely in one of these other videos down there somewhere. I don't see them. You see them. <laughs> not me. <laughs> All right. <laughs>